a big breakthrough in the fight against cancer. Researchers saying that they're seeing extraordinary success in an early trial for a treatment. It uses modified white blood cells to target certain types of disease. In one study, 94% of the participants' symptoms vanished completely. Dr. Mark Siegel of the Fox News Medical A team. Mark, this is very exciting. Um, tell us, what are we talking about here? What did these 94% of these patients have, and how were they cured? Those 94%, Martha, had a very bad case of leukemia that wasn't responding to any other treatment. And this new treatment was just presented this weekend at the American Academy for Advancement of Sciences in D.C. It's a big deal. We're now going more and more to using the immune system to fight cancer. It used to be that cancer, we knew cancer grew very fast, so we targeted it with poisons that go after highly growing cells. That's called chemotherapy. But guess what else it does? It causes your hair to fall out. It causes you to have nausea and vomiting. It causes problems with your bone marrow. Now we're targeting mutations on the surface of the cancer cell, abnormal proteins. And you know what we used to do? We used to take antibodies to those proteins and just flood the body with them. That's a drug called rituximab that's worked really, really well with lymphoma. But guess what we're doing now? Dr. Riddell in Seattle is taking it two steps further. He's taking our immune cells out of our body and re-engineering them so that they're better prepared to fight the war against cancer. They come in and they go right for the cancer cell and then the rest of the immune system sees that the cancer cells are lighting up and it comes in and now we have the battle going on. Now the war is really going on where our own immune system sees the abnormal protein and attacks the cancer cell. A 94% response rate for the kind of cancer that is not responding to it's anything amazing. else. No, it's, it's so hopeful. Um, so how long until this is more broadly applied and people can have these treatments? Well, they're in human trials now, so that's really good news. I'd say just a couple of years mm -hmm. we'll be able to get FDA approval and we'll be able to use this in the doctor's office. We're already moving towards many different kinds of immunotherapy. The other advantage of it is it has less side effects right. in general Absolutely. than that kind of poison I was talking okay. about. I mean, you target a specific problem with a cancer and again that's what cancer is it mutates you can see it right there mm -hmm. it's a genetically abnormal cell and it starts growing it's out of control if our body can just recognize it and here we are engineering cells to attack it and great, to, great science as you say you get to feel better uh, while you're being treated which is a huge development uh, mark thank you very much good to have you here today thanks Martha